Hi, Sagittarius. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Uh, sorry for the delay, you guys. This is your May love reading for uh, May 2018 for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, just click on one of the PayPal links below. That will take you directly to uh, my PayPal account so that you can get your reading there. You can visit my website if you want to get more information about those readings. Um, usually it takes up to a week. Sometimes I'll get it done sooner. Um, it really just depends on how I'm feeling and my energy. <clears throat> you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, friend request me on Facebook, all the links, information is below. Or if you want a quick reading, uh, you can just text me on the Instant Go app, download it from your iPhone app store, and uh, I can answer your question. Uh, I'll try to get to it as fast as I can. I'm a little overwhelmed as of late. Okay, so Sagittarius, this is for love. Singles or couples, really just depends on your situation. If this reading resonates for you, great. It may or may not. It really just depends. You can check your other signs as well. If it doesn't, um, if you're a Sagittarius sun and listening, definitely check your moon, your rising, and or your Venus. Sometimes putting them all together, um, you can get more information or it will make more sense or even just one. So your past position, you have the Page of Swords. So I feel like there might have been some truths that came out in the recent past or the distant past. Um, maybe you found someone has was watching you um, or stalking you online um, or someone was communicating, saying things about you. There could have been gossip in a situation or in a relationship or just talk. People were talking about your business, so saying things about you, um, cutting hard, not necessarily truthful things, doesn't necessarily have to be truthful things, but Things could have come out that just, you know, it's gossip. Whether it was true or not, it really is irrelevant because people were talking about you and or seeing, just getting getting in your business about things that they really just did not have any business being in. Um, that card can also be, you know, people watching you or spies. There's people, people or a person spying on you, I'm feeling. I don't know if maybe you had a stalker, something like that, or along those lines. Uh, there was a curiosity. So let me just clarify and see. Not that I really need to do that, but sometimes I just like to pull an extra card. Yeah, internet stalking or uh, spying on you online. Somebody may have even been <laughs> traveling to your home or going to where you are and driving past your house. Could be something like that. Mm, but that's ended. I feel like that, that has ended. And now you're in this position with the Four of Pentacles where you're like, oh, I don't know if you're holed up in your house or you know, you're know you hiding out in a tree. You just have this energy where you're um, kind of freaked out about that. Like you're closed up now, maybe. If this was a lover or an ex, or uh, maybe if you were having an affair with someone and that and got found out, or or your partner found out, but this this energy here with this Four of Pentacles is really just telling me that there's like this fear of change, or or there's this fear element that's happening. And I see you here with the Nine of Wands, trying to figure out what you're going to do about this and having difficulty trying to figure out how to handle this situation. Because the Nine of Wands, this is a test of courage, boundaries. Maybe someone crossed over your boundaries with all that energy that was happening here. And now maybe you're trying to reset them with someone. I feel like this could have been a situation that you were dealing with someone who... Um, was absolutely invading your privacy, invading your space in some way. And now you, you've like, I feel like you have this energy where now you are just completely closed up in a sense. Like you're not giving away any information. You're not saying anything. You're careful about what you're doing online. You're careful about what you're saying to people. There may even be a little bit of paranoia happening. 
and it's difficult for you. This is in the challenge position, this card, but it's also a benefit for you that you do set your boundaries with people, um, that you do remain persistent in not letting anyone get in. Now, you have the Ace of Pentacles, what's uh, driving you and driving this reading. You're looking for some type of new beginning. Maybe some of you, this could have been a work situation, or if you have someone that you were involved with, or if you got involved with someone at work, people found out about it, and it could be affecting your work. So some of you may be feeling that you want to try, maybe you want to get a new job or change jobs. Uh, maybe there's a, your, you know, there's this drive that you're, you know, you don't want it to affect your position. You, you're, you you fear having possible, uh, not getting a promotion that you were trying to have or losing something that you've invested in for such a long time. And, and you want to be able to see a profit or to see a result of that investment that you've made. Okay. Five of cups in the reverse so <laughs> this really just tells me yeah there's this sense of moving on so some of you not all of you there could be some of you who have a situation like this that was happening you're ready to switch jobs you're ready to maybe if this wasn't a work situation if this is you know if you're married and something got found out and I know some of you are going to say well this isn't me this is the other person well in this reading this is you and the other person is here so if this doesn't resonate for you then this reading is not for you okay so this five of cups in the reverse that's a card about moving on having hope your the recovery time you know forgiveness so you your your drive at this point is to get out of this situation. Now, what's crowding you? You have the page of pentacles. So this card really just tells me that there could be, you know, what you're hoping, what you're wanting, what's on your mind again is that new you I feel like with this world card in the past position because the world can also be the ending of a situation. Now you trying to start over, whether that's move, get away from a past relationship or someone that was uh, attacking you or invading your privacy or moving away from a job situation. I'm seeing messages in, and you know, you perhaps putting out um, feelers in a sense, messages, talking to people, uh, emails, finding ways to get yourself remove remove yourself from this situation okay a lot of plotting and planning and it's it's good for you to keep doing that um even though it's a challenge for you right now because all i feel like i feel like you guys are just closed off and you're wanting to run that's kind of the, that's the energy that i'm picking up from you guys and there's a queen of cups who will be pre prevalent for you or that you're thinking about a female water sign cancer scorpio or pisces that you could be speaking with or this this woman could be helping you now for some of you it could be a male um but it she's showing up here twice the queen of cups in your thoughts and the queen of cups in your near future so male or female, whatever, whatever the situation is. But even if it's a male, this person has very nurturing um, uh, qualities, very healing and very supportive. And this could be someone you're thinking of reaching out to, to help you with this, help you with the situation that you're dealing with. Now here she shows up in the near future and she becomes very significant for you. He or she, very significant for you coming up in uh, May, like probably the third to fourth week of May. Yeah, her significance for you with the Ace of Swords is she's going to help you overcome conflict. Okay? And she's going to give you mental clarity. Uh, she'll be supportive in that way. There'll be a lot of communication from her. Uh, uh, some growth. You know, I feel like this sword, you know, she's going to get at the root of the problems like this she's going to take this sword and dig up that ground around you and lift you up and get your crown 
out from under in where it was buried and show you who you are because I feel like you have something going on or that's really affected you that you're having difficulty um, remembering who you are or uh, maybe believing things that, that people had said or just, you know, I feel like you're wanting to escape. I feel like you're running. You know, but you're, I feel like you're, you're going in the right direction. Whoever this person is, they've got, you know, even though they're very emotional and, you know, they're surrounded by all this water, her feet are on the ground and she knows what's most valuable, you know, so she's going to be able to give you, um, She's, she'll, she's going to show you what your value is. That's how I feel about this. I'm looking at this card here. Um, you know, I see all that water around her feet, and it's kind of chaotic, that water, but she's still grounded, you know? She's very supportive because she is supported. He or she, whoever this may be for you. Your advice, you've got the Knight of Wands here. Your advice is to be fearless, Your advice is to be, you know, you may need to travel. Your, your advice is to follow your passion and to, to be free-spirited. I think that's what you need right now because you haven't been. And you're a Sagittarius, and that's your nature, is free-spirited nature. So uh, your advice is to move forward with that, to keep going in that direction. And you've got the Ten of Cups here. Uh, for some of you, you need to stay focused on your family, your marriage, uh, your children. Um, some of you, this Queen of Cups could be someone from your family that could be helping you deal with um, a love situation or an emotional situation with with a person, with someone. Um, so we don't have any kings here, so... You know, I generally look at the kings and queens. You know, as I said, we do have queens. So this could be a family member. Um, this could be someone. Whoever this is for you, I don't want to just start saying significant other family member, whomever it is. They're very significant at the end of May. But this has something to do with a family situation. Okay. And this is also where you're where you're going to get your support and you need to not be fearless to call on these people to help you some of you may need to go back home if you live far away from your family uh, because this could be about family reunion as well or your marriage something to do with that in with with that in that realm is is where you need to take off to you know, if, if some of you were, were married and were having an affair and you got found out, um, this Queen of Cups, if this is your partner, um, they're going, I feel like there will be forgiveness with this person. They'll be supportive so that you can refocus your energy back on your family again. Um, because I feel like your family wants you. They want that happiness again. Um, and if this is just a general situation where something happened, where people were getting in, some of you might be famous. Maybe some of you have some type of fame of some sort around you, and you have like this paparazzi or all these people who are following you around, and some of you just need to go home. Like you need to go home, back to your roots, because like you're, uh, it's affecting you. I don't know, whatever kind of, like if you're in music or if you're like a social media star or you're, if you're in YouTube, you're a YouTube star, whatever, whatever you might be, wherever there's a lot of people, some of you might be in the church. You know, you could be a, a priest or not a priest, but uh, God forbid, a pastor or, um, you know, anything like that. Anything, anything in a community or some type of a situation where you're exposed to a lot of people is a message I'm getting that you need, you need you're like, you just got to get out of here. You got to get home because it's just too much. So 
what's going on with the other person or other people. The Five of Swords here, there's this backstabbing energy from in your environment, from a person or people in your life uh, there's a there's abusive abuse abusive relationships bullies theft there's violence somebody I feel like just came in and just you know placed that knife in your back and just walked away and and they're not just doing it to you they're doing it to other people okay because as you can see as you can't see because I don't know so there you go so you can see like he's got all these knives look at him right and there's only two in her back. This person's not trying to, if you're dealing with someone who, if this is, if, if you have a significant other who um, has that stalker energy and you're trying to get away from them, this person has not finished what they're doing. Because I feel like if, if this situation was completely over, there would be a third sword here for the three of swords. But there isn't. There's only two. He's got more that he's going to keep throwing at you, he or she. This person is not finished with either trying to disrupt your life in some way or keep talking. Those swords can represent communication because they're thoughts. So if this person obviously is not physically putting swords in your back, but this represents someone who is talking a lot of trash. They're saying things that is disrupting maybe your reputation or your work. Uh, or things like that and you're 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 like trying to get out trying to get help trying to be around people who are supporting of you in whatever way healing groups or support groups or uh, you know seeing someone male or female who's going to help you get your self-esteem back or whatever it is that you need and um, yeah the energy of this person I don't like I just don't like it Some of you are married to this person, <sighs> or this person belongs to some kind of, um, you know, like I was saying, religion, or it's like a, maybe it's a cult leader, <laughs> or this is just someone who is, I, I almost feel deception, because I feel like this person comes across to you, or has, or these people, whoever they are, come across to you as that they are, you know, part of a group, or part of people who are, you know, like, they're, they're the sheep, or this person is kind of a sheep, you know, always, they always want to just fit in. They don't do anything um, to make themselves bring attention to themselves. Kind of sneaky, uh, but they don't. They don't do anything that would. They they stab in the back, and then they come across as if they are all high and mighty, or as if they are um, very ceremonious and and people. You know, I feel like people really look up to this person, and they really adore this person. Like they, they, they're at they're at his feet, and they give him these keys, and they allow him or her. They allow this person to they they like willingly give them the key to their door, and they don't realize they're opening the door for this person to destroy them. And I feel like this person not only has these extra swords to put in your back, but they're also going around doing this to others. So you have to be. Uh, I don't feel like this is a violent person. I'm not getting that energy unless like like the Knight of Swords shows up here. But your hopes and fears, you have the chariot. So I get this sense that, you know, you're ready for action and change. And you're hoping you're going to be able to just get out of dodge with this card. This is direct movement. This this card represents someone who knows exactly where they're going. And, you know, I feel like Sagittarius, you know exactly what it is that you need to do. This, this person commands this chariot and commands these horses. Very much in control. 
and knows exactly what they need to do, where they need to go, how they need to do something. This card can be about travel. There's there's a fear that, you know, maybe these horses will split off in different directions and this chariot will come crashing down, but I feel like that's a normal fear that could represent not being sure uh, if this is the right, th just having, I feel like you have a small seed of doubt, but it's not so much of a seed of doubt that is going to prevent you from doing what you need to do because, again, you have that free spirited that's driving you, that free spirited energy. Now, your outcome is great because you have the Ten of Wands, and this is a card that, you know, the burden, the struggle is over. Okay, so um, at least we'll feel like it's over because of your physical movement and what choice you make. Um, you know, it's it's still it's still a burden, but it's at the end of the burden line. Do you know what I mean? So there's also there. You know, I feel like if you're trying to get away, you're trying to go somewhere, or just get away from someone or people. Um, I f I feel like. Once you do that, you know, then all this air, all this stressful energy is just finally going to release. It, there's exhaustion associated with the Ten of Wands, where, you know, that exhaust, look at this horse, he's, you know, he's trying to get up this hill, and he has this person on his back, and then that person has all this stuff carrying, and then there's all these arrows, and it's it's like this is basically how you've been feeling carrying the weight of so much and the 10 is the finale you know because this horse has got like only a couple more steps till he reaches the top and then it's all downhill after that downhill meaning it's an easy ride <laughs> so i f i feel like towards the end of this month or sometime going into um you know june perhaps Look, the Ace of Cups here, healing. The, that's what the Ace of Cups is, this rebirthing. Um, sometimes, and I'll throw this out there, sometimes this card can represent a new baby or a new relationship. There could be a proposal. There could be marriage. But then there's also birth. And considering everything that we have or that I am feeling in this reading, this is about healing and new birth. The, your cup then begins to runneth over because you have all this support around you. I feel like you're going to take the right track, and, I, and it's advised, obviously, for you here to go ahead and do that. But of course, it's ultimately up to you. We all have free will. Um, but I feel like you're listening to this and you know exactly what's going on you know what's happening and it's almost as if taking this advice here brings you to the end of that trouble and that stress and then a new beginning hope love warmth clarity uh you know so much emotion some of you going through all this has that you know this ten of wands this stress overflows like everything comes out all the emotions everything that's been building up everything you've been feeling um, or that you've been the weight of the world or the weight of everything you've been carrying just begins to spill over now and with that like the water flushes everything out that flushes out all the toxicity and all the negative energy you know because that's all that negative energy and all that stress is sitting it's contaminated that water and it's sitting on top you know, and once all that starts coming out, then the then the water begins to flow cleanly, right? And someone also is offering that healing energy to you as well. And I feel as some of you are dealing with the water watery energy here. Could be also Taurus. Um, some of you could be Cancer. I try not to go down this road. I don't like calling out signs, but if I feel like I need to, I need to. But you see the cards and. If you want to put a sign to it or not, that's fine. If this resonates for you, that's all you need to know. Okay, so I'm going to leave your reading here, and I'm going to just keep chipping away at the rest of the May readings, uh, as I just have so much going on right now. Um, again, guys, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you, and if you want to get a reading from me, check the description box below. Okay, have a great May. Bye.